Hi there and welcome along. In this video I'm going to take a closer look at the Savoy ABC at 46 Belgrave Gate in Leicester. So without further ado, let's jump in. The Art Deco style Savoy Cinema was opened at 42 Belgrave Gate on the 4th of June 1937. Part of the Associated British Cinemas ABC Group, it was the largest cinema in Leicester with 2,414 seats. That is 1,580 in the stalls and 834 in the circle. It was designed by in-house architect William R. Glenn with input from C. Wilfred Smith. The futuristic interior had chrome concealed lighting and an illuminated arch over the screen. There was a small stage and dressing rooms which was used in the early days and in the 1960s pop concerts were apparently held. The cinema boasted a three manual six rank Compton organ with illuminated console and a melatonin attached. The organist was Mr Wilfred Southworth who at one time broadcast from the Regal in Birmingham. He appeared at many opening nights for ABC, including the Savoy at Northampton, the Regal in Chesterfield, the Savoy in Lincoln and the Savoy in Cambridge. Upon opening, there were Ross projectors and lamp houses with the latest RCA Photophone high fidelity sound system of the day. Prices were two shillings for the front circle and sixpence for the front stalls in the evenings. Performances were continuous from 1.45. Mr S Hudson was the manager and he was well known in Leicester having worked at the Princess Theatre in Granby Street. The opening film was Sensation starring John Lodge and Diana Churchill. The opening ceremony was performed by Sir Frederick Oliver DL JP. Forthcoming films included Banjo on My Knee, Come Up Smiling and That Girl from Paris. The remainder of the programme lists the various suppliers and contractors for the project. Big audiences meant big income. During the 1940s, two attempts were made to steal the box office takings and in 1952, the cinema's safe was broken into and £900 was duly stolen. Films were not shown on Sundays, but during World War II, this was changed, in part to boost morale. In 1947, after seeking local opinions, all Leicester cinemas stayed open on Sundays. In the 1950s, a Saturday morning children's club was started and in 1959, the Savoy Cinema was equipped with Todd A.O. and 70mm projection and it had a long run with a roadshow presentation of South Pacific. It was equipped with Philips DP70 dual 35 and 70mm projectors. Harry Rigby commented, when 70mm was installed, the back six rows of the stalls could not be used because you couldn't see the top of the screen as it was cut off by the front of the circle. It was renamed ABC in 1960 and a new coffee shop was added. The cinema was twinned in 1970 with 606 seats in the former circle and 910 seats in the screen located in the former stalls. It was at this time that the organ was removed and installed in the Regent Theatre Flegborough near Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. John Wilmot commented on Facebook, ABC One was a decent conversion with a lovely curved screen. Just before it closed, I remember watching a widescreen presentation and the projectionist, seeing that I'd watched the full credits, opened the masking to scope, then closed the tabs. In 1973, the rear of the former stalls was divided into two screens that seated 410 and 232. 
John Wilmot commented, Out of all the conversions I've seen, ABC seemed to be the most sympathetic towards screen size and quality of presentation. In the latter days, Odeon would undertake some really boxy conversions so that many of the screens were tiny and ineffectual. And John, I have to agree with you on that one. ABC were taken over by EMI and then Canon, and it was renamed Canon Film Centre. In 1991, Canon were no longer in charge, and the name changed again to MGM before finally reverting back to the ABC. Now let's take a look at some of the staff members that I've been able to trace or have been given to me by helpful industry folks on Facebook. This is a staff picture of 70s through mid-90s projectionists. Left to right, Alan Jones, David Horn, Helga Husenrunter, Doug Sanders, long-time chief, Chris Osborne, and Pete Rawson, who was the chief projectionist on Closure. And the photo was taken upon Doug Saunders' retirement. Here's what I call the bow tie picture. The lady in the centre was apparently Mrs Shavik from the cameo in Leicester. If you know the others, please let us know in the comments below. The ABC Leicester was closed on the 16th of January 1997 and the last films were Star Trek First Contact, Daylight and Too Much. And it then remained closed and boarded for some years. Pete Lee said on Facebook, all equipment and seating were purchased by me and Les Castry from Birmingham. We also bought the contents of the Ode in Leicester two years later, and everything was sold back into the trade, mainly to independent operators. Well, that is good to know. In March 2006, plans were approved to demolish the building and build a 10-storey apartment block, a 100-bedroom hotel, casino and shops on the site. In 2007, though, the bulldozers moved in, and by the end of the year, the former Savoy Cinema was no more. The street where the cinema stood was then renamed Savoy Street. Let's look at a few images of the ABC closure and demolition, taken by long-serving projectionist Alan Jones. Alan Jones worked at the ABC from 1965 until its closure. He was a real cinema man and his dedication to and love of the Savoy ABC in Leicester shines through. Many of the photographs used by me in this video are from his collection and the video he made as a celebration of the ABC in Leicester. Alan Jones tragically lost his life in a road traffic accident while on a bike ride in early April 2019. Well, that's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was worth the wait. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can comment below about any cinemas you want me to investigate. Till next time, be good to each other and see you soon. Ta-da!